Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Tenderfoot Tactics where today we are going to enter this very creepy monolith. It looks way creepier up close. I mean it wasn't it wasn't great to look at from afar, but I don't I don't like being here. Let's make this fast. It strikes me that I haven't actually changed any of our equipment in quite some time, and we may be we may be using non-optimal gear here. Boy, the fog is just pouring out of that thing, huh? I guess that lends a lot of, uh, lends a lot of credence to the theory we're working under. All right, let's have at him. So, yo, I don't care for this at all. What is your deal? You have cross effect shape. We A weird thing to note when also the shape is already drawn. I'm wondering if maybe there's more to that than I would expect. Uh, breaks destructible objects on nerve one, applies ice to the ground. So these guys hit fairly hard. Oh, and they're hyper-reactive. That's rough. Well. One thing we could do is just rush them. Just, just dash right at them and give them the old nightmare. The old nightmare right across the face. Um. Is that where I'm at? Yes. <laughs> yep, that's that's where I'm at. Uh, Nyx is going to be here. We can avoid having to deal with this guy just by being far away from him at first. So where do they go? Four and ten. He's hyper-reactive, so there's no sense in... Let's have Nyx be second. We'll, we'll go Pascal. No, not Pascal. What am I doing? Quinn. Quinn, then Nyx. Then Pascal. Pascal can... Yeah. Yeah. Pascal can jump in there and do some. Or maybe it's better to have a Frost up next. I'm going to do a... F I guess we want to get the poison going as early as possible. Yep, okay. I'm doing it like this. This is how we're this is the way that we are doing it. Um I guess actually the way I've set people up right now is probably bad though. Hold on, let's do this and separate you guys out a little bit. I just don't I don't want to get bog trolled too hard. Like this. Alright, how much health do you have, you horrifying monster man? Two hundred and fifty? That's a lot of total HP between the lot of you. Alright. But perhaps I am the one who is your nightmare. Have you considered this? It looks like they don't think that that's... They think that's probably not the case. Eat terrain! Who even knows what I just did? That terrain is... That's probably ice, right? And this is just... I don't know. I made it like a rock or something. I don't, I'm gonna level with you. I have no idea what's going on. Halt. This is a place of worship. Not to be sullied by outsiders. Why have you not taken of the fog? How are you to be trusted in this place? Well, the fog has correctly identified that I am an adversarial force, which, to be honest with you, I don't care for, because I don't like it when fog is sentient. That's just a long-standing thing of mine. It's not. I'm not a fan of the sentient fog. Okay, so... They're standing in kind of an awkward way. It makes it harder for me to set fire to them optimally. Oh, wait, what happened to... Boy, I sure had it equipped before. Okay, well, I guess I don't have it equipped anymore. Um... Hmm... Boy, so what is the move, then? Fire Salvo's just gonna be kinda not good. Yeah, the move is this, I think. Now, now you are on the mountain. Showed you? Question mark? I'll tell you what I've done is I've guaranteed that Quinn is going to be killed. Alright, uh... So... I can jump up there and mess with him up there. Or I can just shoot poison at somebody over here. That seems like it could be fun. I think I'm gonna do the jump. I might as well jump. 
Uh, I gotta move forward a little bit. Cause like this is a pretty good jump. It's gonna promote and stuff. Cause everything we do is going to do that. All right. Well, we do have a kill at least. You're on seventy six. So we want to be a little cautious. We, we want to hit that guy exactly as many times as is necessary to kill him. And not one time more. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go... I'm going to go to here. I'm offering this bog troll a double hit, but... I'm so bummed out. I'm so bummed out about that being so close to lethal. Okay. He wanted to take the kill instead. That's understandable. I get that. I don't want to actually get too close. Because right now that Frost Giant just doesn't have an action available and I'd like to keep it that way. Alright, this is a good time to hit you with stuff because you are not actually going to be promoted by it in any way. Ugh, I hate the way this has worked out, though. I really wish I could cast here. Sorry, right. this is this is this Frost Giant's last turn. Very strange decision. Don't understand that targeting at all. See, this makes considerably more sense. All right, uh, what are you at? You're at eighty-two. So if I hadn't lost access to my, if I hadn't lost access to my um, combust for no reason, we might have been able to make something fun happen here. Uh, as it is, I think I just do a normal ice arrow, because any of our area attacks are just going to be problems. And then move you forward some. Okay, well now we have this protective layer of terrain. Debating... The Shaman doesn't go until after the tr one of the trolls does. But that troll's unlikely to be able to approach us because of the way we built up this like weird mountain, so... I think I am going to gloat. And then move forward to become the primary targetable object. I can I can hit the frost from here. It's trying to stay back far enough. All right, Pascal. Should be able to puke poison over this thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that. Uh, and then I'm going to run away. With maximum cowardice. That was a solid runaway. Um, hmm. So now, I think I'm going to thrive self. And then just get right up, right back up there and be a menace. Do I? I think I might just want to gloat again, honestly. How much health do you have? 50? Oh, wait. Can I kill? I, yeah, I can kill. I should kill that guy. We should take the kills where they are offered. Uh, do I want to then step into a space for the health? It's not going to level us up. I'm going to... Not. I'm just going to accept that I am probably dead here. It's fine. I can be probably dead here. That's okay. Take this, my enemies. I guess I can move around... What's the range on that? Four? Yeah. I can move around to here and maybe be counted as hitting that guy on the side. Nope. No such luck. So...
so the frost will be reversed on the giant. I am going to move and frost just the dude. I mean, the poison's doing real good work. Hard to be too upset about the results of all of this poison. And then Pascal can poison the giant. And unfortunately, this puts us in a really good position for the giant to mess our stuff up real bad. But, hard to be too upset about poison. Yeah, the promote doesn't matter at this point. We do get to kill one of them. And then... You can... I guess move to... I don't want to move any closer because I don't want to give him any better area targeting. He's already got such a good shot. He, he could have attacked from a different angle in a very profitable way if we weren't careful there. And then... I do believe we've done it. Alright, shiny bobble. None of this stuff's too impressive. Wave 2. Less scary. Like, a lot less scary. I think this is an extremely doable wave. So their archer gets to lead... Let's put Spot up here and then maybe pull like everybody back to the other side as much as possible. You do have... F uh, okay, so maybe we don't put anybody in the bushes though. So let's see. Those two trolls over there... You know... I'm gonna do this instead. We're not going to be able to prevent that guy from hitting us, but we can make it so that these two trolls don't have a lot of interesting combat options. And then we can just rush people over here. So it's probably not Nyx first. It's probably Quinn and then Pascal. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, fortunately, fire, not that effective against a guy who's waist-deep in water. What is your mission here? Why do you struggle? Seek not your own death, except by will to absolution. Hey, don't tell me how to kill myself foolishly in combat. It's very presumptuous. So that guy's three tiles out. Hold on, what's the, what does the attack pattern of Nightmare look like? If I aim it there... One, two, three. So we're not going to be able to hit him, right? If I aim it here... Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah, if I move to here and then I aim it this way, I think it gets him. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty fun. I like that great big ridiculous attack area. Okay, so now Pascal has to make some decisions... No, he doesn't. Never mind. There is one very obvious move here. And then he retched. I hate the way it, produ it produces so much fluid. <laughs> That's very gross. Why does it have to produce such a quantity? Uh, well, feels like probably the move is... Well, maybe it's come over here and blast these guys. I'm not going to get a kill, but I'm going to get close. No, I'm really not going to get a kill. And doing this lines me up like it guarantees that he'll attack right here and hit both Pascal and Nyx. So maybe I do just want to go this way and... Yeah, that's fine. There is more to life than maximizing your DPS. I know. Hot take. Controversial opinion. Ow. Just shoot people with a bow and arrow? What's wrong with you? So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to, um... Not going to be able to get as far to the side as I wanted here. So I only count as unnerving one of them. So I was only behind one of them. 
Uh, and then you get to one, two, three. So you want to be here. do this and we can just keep these guys controlled it's probably like pretty unsettling to have the terrain constantly rising and falling underneath your feet that's probably hard to deal with right all right he's definitely just gonna bleed out uh, let's move you forward some Uh-oh, he ran out of- he did run out of poison. He did run out of poison, though. So, we can make this work. Two forward, three to the side. It means that if I am here attacking that space... Yeah, that should- that should get what I want without hitting any allies. Nope, I did a bad math somewhere. Well. Two forward, two to the side? Yep, two forward, two to the side. <laughs> ah, well. It's alright. Something tells me I got it. We'll just take this and then have Nyx run. Uh, I do want the XP, but we gotta get out of here. All right, and then poison puke. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to prevent these guys from getting their turns, but I don't don't know that I can do it. Like if I move to here, one, two, three, I, I can jump there. Yeah, I just I can't can't quite make it happen, unfortunately. The, the quantity, the quantity of the fluid, it's too, it's too great, it's very unsettling. That attack should have some more unnerve attached to it. It unnerves me to use it. Alright, yeah, we got hunted down, not, not a ton that can be done about that. Um, so this is not lethal. And it doesn't unnerve. What a, it's a bad set of circumstances, man. That said, I think it's still right. Please stop unnerving me, it's very effective and I don't like that about it. I will admit I'm a little surprised that they gave that to me. That seems like a, like a really obviously bad move. So yeah, I'm enjoying our spell sword so far. This is a cool class. We might be able to prevent you from getting a turn. No, you are you are not going to tick out naturally. Well, that's fine. I have I have so much more wretch where that came from. Should probably have moved forward slightly further. It's fine. It turns out nothing can possibly kill Spot. He's just entirely too tough. Alright, we gotta level up, but not on the person we really needed it on. Oh no, endless waves until winter is defeated. Interesting. So over here we got some kind of some kind of tiny man who is swinging, uh, swimming. It's all units in the caster's field of view which are also facing. He's got like a, a gaze attack. Got some icy stuff. And free movement across ice. Yo, that's cool. And then you are also an icy man. Yeah, you got Blizzard. Wow, Blizzard is a 3x3 three three castable within 4 range. 
That's pretty harsh. And they get to go super first. Like the firstest. Did we... We don't actually have anything that creates ice, do we? Well, Nightmare often creates a little ice. Uh, but Frost is not... Yeah, it's not cold enough. Uh, we can Mountain to try to raise up some terrain, potentially. But, like, we're only going to be able to actually hit this guy with people who are... People who are able to get up on land. All right, let's... This is going to be tough, man. I mean, he's going to create some ice when he attacks us. So we can look forward to that. Dude is very tall. Right, I'm going to do like this in the hopes of this making him... Uh, Actually, Quinn's going to stay right where Quinn is. In the hopes of it, this making him want to attack these three, who are tougher and can handle it. Uh, and then... We're definitely going to want Quinn up early. Uh, why did you... Don't do that. Don't just move into the water. And then it's like... Pascal's pretty quick after that. old oafish spots. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be bad. Okay, he did kind of the opposite. Well, that's not very polite, Fog. Not very polite, the Fog. Okay, all the spaces I can move to are sadly very, very deep water. This is that big, 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 big water. Can you hit him with a bow from here? No. But you can not move up onto the... Okay, well. You can hit him with the bow from here. Enjoy your po poison, sucker. That's so much health. That is 600 points of HP. And he's summoning frost giants? That's a problem. Oh wow, I thought for sure I'd be able to get up onto water with my fourth point of movement. Or up onto land. I guess there's one level of... The the line is not very clear, but I guess we know that that's approximately the depth of one height. The depth of... You know what I mean. So yeah, that sucks. You have to be within... I mean, uh, Nyx should be able to get up. Shouldn't be a problem for Nyx. Nettle. Nettle's gonna have to heal. Nettle really can't do anything other than heal. This is uh this is an interesting fight. Oh, it's just not gonna let me get up. Despite the fact that I definitely should be able to. Hmm. That's weird. So wait, why can I get up here? But like, getting up here it looks like it will cost all of my movement? Maybe I should have read that tutorial about the deep water more carefully. I mean, this is... This is simply not a, uh simply not a terrain change uh, that that looks tall enough to cost the number of movement points it costs so that's a it's a bummer I've created a situation where there's difficult terrain but it's not I was kind of hoping that if the brush was was dense enough to be difficult terrain that it would also create a, uh, the ability for me to stand in the tile apparently not apparently that is not a thing yeah we're in a lot of trouble, it turns out. Well. 
can get up here now, but I'm gonna break this terrain when I uh, when I attack. I think we still gotta do it. It doesn't break the tile he's in, at least. Looks like that frost giant is perfectly capable of uh, of fighting, unfortunately. Well, a lot of their units are also not particularly good here, so that's good news. Alright, time to fill the reservoir with my vomit. <laughs> I like watching the ice rise. This game's so cool. The systems are so cool. Alright, um, so. Probably not safe to use the nightmare anywhere. Let's see here. Where can I move to that I can actually act from? We don't really have a lot of options. I think I'm probably just going to have to do poison arrows here. Well, you know, the poison's a lot of damage. Hell yeah, raise some terrain. This is so cool. And then watching it, like, flow away is going to be really neat. So, unfortunately, well, I guess it's saying that the terrain here is, is, the water here is still too deep, but that may not be true in a minute. So, this one's only minus two. This one's minus six, because there's some damage has been done there as well. I'm actually just going to back way up, I think. Minus six, so a lot of it's minus six. We, we have created an area here that should be standable for most of us. I'm going to back up. And we're not going to look directly at that guy in the corner. Alright, the levels have... The water level is equalized enough that some of these... Th this space. This space only is standable. Well, so I guess I'm going to do it then. Nope. It's now an X. I should maybe be... I gotta stop adding water to the area, I guess. Uh, I think I'm willing to promote the Ice Giant 5 to unnerve the boss 5. The Ice Giant gets one more turn and then we kill him. It's, it's not ideal, but it, we can deal with it. I mean, we're getting the damage in. It's it's happening. You are getting ticked away. Don't look at the guy in the corner. Okay, guy in the corner is too deep in the water. Uh, again, we're going to have a situation where we cannot realistically use Nightmare. What I can do is, like, move to here and jump. Try hard to keep that on nerve. And then all you're going to be able to do is refresh the poison arrow. Wait, what about, what's your buff do again? Damage reflection plus 20 power. But you have to be adjacent to the person you want to use it on. I'm just going to refresh the poison. Yeah, I got to stop raising the water level. We're going to have problems. Oh, wow. I look down at the battlefield a lot. Oh, this is this is kind of handy for helping to visualize the terrain and also Willow's corpse. Man, this this game's pretty neat. So now I want to be closer again because I want to try to fire. I don't want to raise up a mountain underneath um, spot. Let's go to here. This is this is the right move. I want to raise the terrain. But I don't love this. It does push spot ahead of the boss. But it doesn't... Spot would still be behind this dude over here. Who will definitely have a real chance of killing it then. 
But raising up this terrain and making it functional... Hmm, I don't know. It might not actually be a good idea. Maybe I just hit you with the slow arrow? Maybe I... I, I just fire Salvo. Yeah, the fire's not going to do anything, but the damage is still good. Right, do not face that corner. Right, a lot of these enemies aren't going to be able to move. Can I move forward at all while still being able to act? Okay, that's pretty good. That only lets me cast directly on the boss, which is not ideal. I mean, I, I don't get to double up on anyone. But, yeah, having raised the terrain over here is definitely valuable. And, you know, let's just pour some more water into this situation, why don't we? Seems like a great plan to me. Oh, oh, Frost Giant. Well, I'm glad I didn't hit you. I think I'm going to be nobly self-sacrificing here. Well, hold on. What am I doing? When I say nobly self-sacrificing, I don't mean I'm trying to get him to die, I mean I'm trying to, um, I'm not healing. I'm going for the attack instead of the heal. I mean, I would really like to get that guy too, but it looks like the water over here is all pretty tough to deal with. So I guess the right move is just move to here, throw the grenade right there. It's not going to kill. Ah, uh, this is awkward. Alright. That guy's not going to be able to find his footing. I'm just going to take this shot. And that'll help making more terrain standable because it'll make the, um, it'll lower the water level over here because now there's a, more of a hole for it to flow into, right? In fact, we've got the boss swimming. Can you act from here? No, wait, you don't want to act from here. You want to act from, like... This is awkward. I guess I can just jump. I can just jump to kill the boss. I, I'm gonna do that. Alright. And then move to... Is that giant swimming? No, the giant is still standing. I gotta be near standable terrain, but I don't want to be... Uh, it's a tough one, man. There's just not that many places I can actually be functional as a unit. Alright, well I just have to be in a position where I can move to one of them. Take this. It's it's getting a little ugly. It's getting a little ugly. I think I'm gonna swim. I need to, we need to get to the center island so that I can challenge that dude over there. Right now it's very difficult for us to deal damage to him. Yeah, the frost giants are definitely scary opponents given the um given the way the terrain here works. Yeah, that's a shame. It was coming, though. Sooner or later. Alright, let's thorn up. That's not too bad. That's going to have a little bit of an effect. Yeah, it's going to hit a couple of us. And unfortunately, this promotes the damn giant, but it does kill the other guy. And I mean, we got to get damage on this giant. So, where can I act from? That's one thing that I do wish was a little clearer. Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to separate from everybody. 
we'll see what he does with this. You can't you can't go after too many of us at once. Yeah, that's bad. And there's not gonna be anywhere I can I can stand and do stuff over here. All right, well I can shoot him in the front. Really, that gives him a promote? Yeah, I guess I am further to his side. Very annoying. Very annoying stuff. I mean, Thicket's real bad. I guess Frost doesn't actually change his turn order at all. And it's the most damaging thing I have. Alright, well the Thorns are going to do some work, and I'm healing constantly. The Glare's going to be effective here. I'm going to move to... Yeesh. Yeesh is where I'm going to move to. I mean, it's adding up. Slowly but surely, it is adding up. Okay. Try not to look at him. Yeah, unfortunately, uh... Oh! Why did he just die? Also, yo! Layers of luminous elf skin sewn into light indoor footwear. The goblins of Hork would be impressed by the precise brutality of these slippers. Nothing from the largest root to the smallest pebble can be felt through the soul. So first of all, 2023 with plus two move is like by a huge margin the best item we've ever seen, but also, that's a person's skin. So I guess what I'm saying is I got complicated feelings. Sure. The castle's probably not an optimal camp, honestly. All right. Uh, Pascal, the level six salamander is going to take this, and then we might stop spending. It's possible that it'll be best to just bank his health. Uh, I do want... Do we want other stuff? I mean, Plow and Gather are both interesting. Affinity is... You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab Affinity. Affinity is really good. So let's grab, say, Canticle or Anesthetize. Anesthetize is not bad, and there are some turns, some turns where you just, like, don't have the stuff that you want. Yeah. Like, you're always going to be able to anesthetize. There's always going to be somebody within five. Alright. So, who needs the move? It's probably actually Pascal, right? So let's... Let's drop that amber and slip that to somebody else. So 515. They have a couple of 514s on people. It seems like a pretty straightforward upgrade. Yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, then we have some 1114 gold rings that we should definitely have equipped. Gold is better than copper. That's just, everybody knows that. Um, you are awfully important, but you also work at a distance such that I'm not sure that you need this the most. It's probably Quinn, actually. Yeah, let's let's do that. We need to go to a town. It's, it's been a really long time since we were in a town. Alright, um... We were just letting you get a level of archer so that you could pick up Lofty and then go back to another thing, so we're working on that. Okay. Very successful in the overall, if I do say so myself. Where in the hell am I? Is that... that's... in the outer meat of the town, right? So, like, we should, we should not go back all the way down. We should just head this away. Well, that's ominous. That's just a, a big ominous bit of darkness floating in front of us. Yeah, alright. Just keep on moving toward the ever-receding monolith of terror. 
That's fine. No, don't imagine that the fact that it constantly draw ba draws back suggests a malign intelligence. My advice would be to just not think about it at all. The music is calming me down a little bit. Are we still on the right path here? Yeah, we're close, given the size of that star. Maybe I should just be taking a combat to make sure that we, uh, we get back off of um, Archer. But we can do it closer to the thing. Oh, you know what I should do? I should be doing. I should be... What's going on with your, like, give me... I, I want Combust. Mountain is cool, but Combust is generally, I think, quite a bit better. Although, I will say, in that fight, I'm real glad I had Mountain. The fact that we were able to reshape the terrain in that corner a little bit absolutely for certain saved our lives. Alright, still just kind of generally this way through the reeds and the... Atmosphere. You know, this whole thing that's always happening. Alright, I think we're approaching a wall of bodies here. Well, maybe we can... We're definitely lengthening the path, walking around all these combats, but I just I want to get to the place and do the thing. You know, the thing in the place. That's where the, the place is where the thing is. Everybody knows this. Why, why do you keep looking at me like that? All right, we got to be close. Unfortunately, it's very well hidden. Yo, what is that? What is that? That's a man whose head is a. It is gently aflame. Slightly on fire is the way I would describe that man. From the head, which is one of the main places that you don't want to be on fire. Yeah, there's some real creepy shit going on around here. There's more frost giants. The frost giants, I don't like them. They're also real creepy. Does look like we're going to be able to get into this without getting in any further scuffles, though. I wonder if they're all going to be frost and water, or if each one's going to have, like, a different theme. Well, this one looks pretty... Yeah! Hey there, bro! <laughs> Nice of you to come along and just observe. This is just uh, spirits. These are like normal dudes. These are goblins. Uh, what are you, my man? You got that miasma. Wow, that's a lot of miasma. What? Why are you allowed to have this degree of miasma? Uh, okay, so he does go last. I think that guy should not be allowed to have a turn. That's, that's my feeling on this situation. Uh, also, bad news. They all get to go before us. Like, all of them. <laughs> really rough. And we don't even really have good setup terrain. Okay, so we know this guy's approximate deal. He is going to hit everyone and there's nothing we can do about it because we all go so late. And I hate that. I hate that very much. One, two, three, four. So he's going to hit right here. Yeah. Alright. Who is going first? First is probably Quinn for the poison. Then Pascal for potentially more poison. Then Nyx. Alright. Let's try it like this. Yep. With the terrain the way it is, there's really nothing I can do. Hi! You look lost! Surely you wouldn't want to see the fog disappear. Oh no, he's been taken over. Okay, their wizard is way in the back. Because they're only approximately as good at setting up as I am, which is to say not that good. Yep, yeah, we're not going to be able to stop him. Uh, the fog's been so good to us. We used to have to prey on goblin towns to find pleasure, to take new bodies. But now the forests are thick with game. What would you do without this? Parsnip, you're adorable. And that, that just makes me so much sadder about what I'm going to have to do here. So Pascal is in a bad situation uh, with all of the overgrowth that has occurred. 
I don't really... I can't threaten that guy at all because the terrain or the brush has grown so quickly and aggressively. I do not like it. I hate it very much. Uh, is this a good time for some rot? I think this is a good time for some rot. Everything he does has to sound like that. That's just that's just the sound of the game at this point. Okay, so he's going to get to poison literally everyone. Because we can't get close enough to him to stop him. You know what I can do? I can combust that archer. Yeah, we don't have the thing that clears debuffs, do we? I don't... Nope. Well, shit. Yeah, bummer. I mean, nothing for it. We managed to spread out a little bit, but it's... it's bad. It's bad news. Uh, so I need to move over to here and frost these guys up real good. The good news is we're burning through some of them pretty quickly. The bad, I mean, the bad news obviously is just like we're on the clock in a way that I'd really rather we not be. So I could heal everybody or I could make sure that you suffer. And y'all know how I feel about spite. I'm a fan, That's in case you weren't clear. Look, I understand. You wish you could join with the fog, become part of it. Only we spirits can't, of course. The goblins are so terribly lucky. And those filthy little swine in the Outer Islands don't even understand it. Parsnip's having some feelings. Here goes my archer. But I think we've done some we've done some good damage. And their wizard is still like super distracted. Uh let's throw a poison up on you, maybe? I don't know that I I don't know that I need to hit this guy very much at this point. And slowly, slowly you will approach. Ow. Uh, this seems like a fine time to gloat. <laughs> gloat about my incredible effectiveness. I don't really want him to have this XP, but I do want to remove these bushes. Well, that's a shame. Somebody's got to threaten this wizard. So I definitely want to sting. It's 84 damage when it doesn't backstab. It's, uh, it's a little terrifying. Alright, so we have some heals. What do I want to do here? I'm going to thrive myself. Yes. Yes. And then I'm going to move away from these guys so that we can cast Frost on them more cleanly. So unfortunately, yeah, the way the way we're set up, um, it's actually very awkward to heal us without healing them. So we're just going to remove a couple of them from the field first. I did set myself up for that, I suppose. I was not... I was not thinking in terms of long line spells, because that's not how we usually get down. Uh, and then you get to... Oh, I moved kind of weirdly, didn't I? Yeah, I moved incorrectly, some might say. Can you blood curse yourself? You can. Probably not the right move. It's so beautiful. Why would you fight this? Yeah, you know, I can't think of a reason. It does seem out of character. I mean, I think we've got this, pretty clearly. Alright, can we menace this dude? Yeah, we can totally frost him from here. So 
So I'm not 100% clear on the lore. Like, so the spirits need to take over goblin bodies in sort of like, as sort of a multi-consciousness, right? Like, I have taken over six goblins. I'm not just in one of them. And goblin bodies that are taken over by spirits are made immune to the fog by the fact that the spirit is immune to the fog, I think, because otherwise... I have to imagine, with the way this guy talks, that he would have let his goblins get fogged. But they're clearly not fogged, because they're not all grayed out. We're figuring it out. Listen, I don't want to be told all the lore. I like, I do, I do like to be able to discover what's going on a little bit. Okay. Two of three. Alright, we got the fireball, fireball stars, but not, not too many of them. They do get to go quite early, though. So that's got five range? Yes, yeah, so that, that guy just gets to hit whoever he wants. There's nothing we can do about it. Actually, no, you probably need to be over here. Uh, and then... Like, we definitely want to have these two in a position where they can threaten that guy. God, he gets to go so early. They all get to go so quickly. I might actually have Spot go early here. Yeah. Because I think we can get Spot wrapped around to the bottom of the turn order and then have him absorb a bunch of promotes on this one. And he gets to run forward and hit all of these guys pretty hard. Um... Or maybe just heal. We'll see. It might it might be just heal. Uh, and then... I'm going to swap these two, maybe? I just want to make sure that we can hit that guy with something that he's actually going to feel. And then Quinn's probably, like, right after. Willow's probably right after. Yeah, for the run, the run forward and frost maneuver, and then Quinn. It's probably Nettle is last, honestly. Yeah, like this. So this guy doesn't get to do anything. Why not live hand in hand with us? Cause I, cause I like my mind, friend. I need that. I do stuff with it. I know it doesn't look like it, but you're just, you're just gonna have to trust me. Uh, yeah. This isn't totally great, because if I want to hit everybody now, I have to do this thing. Uh, promote one on... Promote one doesn't matter, for the most part, here. But then I'm going to take a bunch of hits right afterward. So maybe all I want to do is... Maybe I just gloat, get prideful going. Or, you know, I'm just going to do this. We'll split the difference. I won't damage myself, at least. Okay. So... We probably want to do... No, that's four tiles. Shoot. Well, this is actually a problem. I just, I thought he wasn't going to be able to make it all the way over here, so he wasn't going to do that. Um, now that he's done that, it's a real issue. I'm going to stay put. Just gonna kind of tank this guy. All right, you gotta run forward and lay down some poison. Then change the plan up a little bit here. All right, and this is the time for gloating. And the time for moving to a position where you can run through a lot of brush. All right, we are. 100% going for this dude's face. So, I do wish that we could kill him in one. 
How much damage does Wretch deal? 44 straight up with the poison. That's pro It's probably Wretch, then. That's probably the right move. Right, that's... One damage per five ticks for 300 ticks is... Yeah, that's lethal. Alright, Nyx doesn't get to do what I wanted Nyx to do. But Nyx can blow this guy up. We can also start... I I'm gonna start a fire anyway, what am I talking about? This is gonna be a real dangerous situation for us, but also... I was kind of hoping it was going to burn back that way. It sort of looks like it's not going to, doesn't it? Um, why don't we... There we go. We just ran out the, uh, the combustible fuel there. Healed them for a lot and saved them a lot of, a lot of trouble. He is, unfortunately, super close to death. Really, really right on the edge. Alright, that guy ran back into the fire a little bit, it looks like. I'm surprised he goes for this instead of the kill. I guess he figures the kill's already... The kill is accounted for already. I think we've got this, though. Yeah, they are down to a very small number of units. Now, granted, between those units, they have about 10 billion health. Can I get... I cannot get close enough for it to matter. Uh... This will hit you, and as such, it will hit me. But if I don't move forward, it kills... Yeah. Alright, we're probably just gonna have to do a poison salvo. It's not what I want to be doing. And I can't... Can I get anywhere close enough? I would need to move three tiles closer. Which I cannot do. Alright, well, no way to do it without the promote. Oh, hey, I almost never get to do this. Hooray! This is going to be terrifying. A terrifying amount of damage. That guy is super dead. It's going to take a minute for it to tick out, but he is already dead. Maybe I should just push him? Yeah, I'm just going to push him. Because otherwise, otherwise we're going to lose Pascal. you two together and then catch you with the flourish. A lot more healing than I usually do. Ah, it's a shame. But this thing is in a much worse position than it used to be. Do I want to move around? No, I do not want to move around. Well, I guess there's no sense standing adjacent. I am not a melee fighter. Okay, that is the greatest danger. Quinn's just going to run away. Yeah, I mean, there's there's certainly no doubt that these are more powerful classes than we were playing with at the beginning of the game. It kind of makes me think maybe we should go class hunting a little bit more, because there's, like, there's clearly some really strong stuff out there. Alright, endless waves until the Wither is defeated. So what's your deal? Wretch, Sicken, it's a tremendous reduction in max HP... Apply Spore Cloud globally. Limits the range of all actions to two. Yo! Nightmare. Nightmare time. Okay, we get to go first. How do we want to take advantage of that? 
What is the best first move? So this is unclimbable, but one, two, three, four. Now, okay, so we need a blight arrow to get across there, which we can do. So you go here. You two are going to run up. Uh, we should probably swap this, though. Run up opposing sides. Uh, Pascal's going to go with you. So Shatter, Dragon Breath, relatively hard hits. And they have a not even melee range leeching spell. That's pretty harsh, man. This is going to be a tough one. No, wait. Uh, you... Yeah, I don't really know what to do with you guys, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's put Nyx close to one of the edges because... Yeah, everybody but Quinn really needs to cross. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Uh, is that the right order? Quinn first, then Nyx. Yeah, okay. So Quinn needs to move forward one tile. And I don't see much reason to move forward more than that. Alright, get that poison up and ticking. Your bitter resentments are pathetic and meaningless. You will fail in your mission. Well, somebody's feeling very negative today. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little sickened. I'm sickened by this behavior. So you step forward a bunch, and I can now combust you, and I am absolutely going to. Because damage. Hooray for damage. Enjoy this fire. Um, hmm. Brush imbued with vigor. I don't really want to cast Winter right over there, because I don't necessarily want to wet down the space. Well, I guess he's already not taking fire damage anymore. So I'd have to go to here. Yeah, the fire is beyond... This is not going to limit the amount of fire damage he takes. It might reduce the fire damage they take for giving them more of a safe spot to stand in. Yo! That's a lot of bolt. Okay. So these two are incredibly powerful. That's the thing that I learned. I gotta I gotta get aggressive. Your poison has almost run out. I'll save you. So, Willow... I mean, it's unfortunate that they're positioned the way they are. Or rather, it's unfortunate that we're positioned the way we are. I think Willow probably moves up and gets aggressive, but we can cast a Frost from here, right? Yeah. Just try to keep you from taking more turns. So Nettle, Nettle can back up and get a pretty good one. I think we're going to take that. And then you are going to continue laying on the big damage. And probably you're going to want to run away, right? <laughs> giving, him, giving him a target. Right, we're not going to be able to kill this thing before the next wave shows up, but... I do think we're going to be able to do a lot of damage.
186, yeah. We just, without being able to hit the, the backstab, we're not going to get there. But we can get, we can get a lot. We can do some good work here. 94 and poisoned. Sadly, I do believe this is our best play. Maybe our best play is, um, is Thrive. Yeah, let's, let's Thrive you, my friend. Oh, okay. Or, alternatively, it will not work. Because, right, the healing doesn't take place until the time units have all the way, like, you, until you've spent all of the time. Pesky time units. So, actually, actually, by having that guy die, we did win. Uh, okay. I was really expecting there not to be enemies anymore. Well, imagine my surprise. This is unfortunate. I do get to level up here, and then I think we just have to accept the death. Yeah, because Nyx doesn't get to move or anything, so I don't think we actually have much of a choice here. pretty tough. This behemoth uh, is gonna blow up. That's weird. It doesn't have text. But I mean, we assume it's the one we've seen before, right? Sadly, no excellent backstab for me. I think this is probably a pretty good time for a thrive. Let's just make sure you're in good fighting position for the for what's coming. Boy, I don't know if it matters much where I put you. Okay, nice of them to choose to attack me. And mostly from the front, too. Actually pretty baffling. Hmm. What is the right way to do this? 21 and 24. So basically it's like, wretch on spot or don't get the double. And I'm gonna take the double. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You'll you'll recover. It cleans right out. And I mean, obviously, this guy never gets to take another turn. Oh, I don't. I don't get the backstab. Okay, I'm surprised we got spawns at the end of that at all. Yo! White band made from luminous face steel, inlaid with an unbroken fractal. Any creature that even glimpses the ring is possessed with a single-minded fascination, which leads to ma which led to many shabby imitations. I get it. I get I get what that could be a reference to. I know a thing. Alright, so let's definitely throw that up on spot. I for sure want people to be taunted to fight spot. Is anybody wearing a thing that's less compelling than the amber? Um, arguably. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, and then Quinn. We're going to be a little bit careful because, obviously, 
uh, unspent skill points are actually very significant on Quinn, but I think hyper reactive is is worth having for sure. Yo, hi everybody, how's it going? Are we all feeling generally chilled out now? The portal closed. How will we get home? I'm gonna level with you. I had not thought about that. That's not. Well, shit. That's my bad. Um, we have a like a nice castle. Well, just you know what. We'll just invite everybody everybody back to the castle. It'll be fine. I'm sure we'll all get along. Uh, that's going to be it for us for today. We are a little bit out of time. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow, we're going to deal with this refugee crisis that we're creating. And we're also going to continue creating a refugee crisis. And we'll see you then.